Hello and welcome to the last vlog in RV Nelly. So this is our 1999 Tiffin Allegra that we've spent the last seven, eight years uh, RVing in around Alaska and the lower 48. And tomorrow Nelly's new humans pick her up for her next adventure. One last thing that I really wanted to do with Nelly was to put new covers on the cushions for her dinette. The ones that came with the motorhome originally were old and stained and just, I couldn't bear to let her go like that. So if you're watching this, you probably already know how to sew or you're not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> um, but maybe you're thinking about like, uh, what kind of pattern, how to do it, maybe some little tips that I've picked up from having done this. And it actually turned out to be a pretty significant project. Making um, cases for anything is always a bit of a challenge because you have angles and you've got to attach it somehow. And I wanted to make it so that they could take these off and wash them. So I ended up sewing on Velcro. It's a pretty good match there, honey. I, you know, I would never have gone with light colored like this. I had intended to go with something much darker, but when I got to the sewing store, they had this material and it was like she had ordered it for us because it's almost a perfect match to the wallpaper it in is. Nelly. Uh, one little tidbit about this, when I picked out this particular material is the fact that it's 108 inches wide instead of the standard 40 inches wide that you find on most material. And so it saved me a considerable amount of money because it was about $7 less than their really expensive material and also was much wider. So I, I got a lot more use out of the material and I didn't have to sew so many things together. So I'm gonna be the first to admit that this isn't perfect. I am not a seamstress. My mother was, is. <laughs> Uh, but I am not. However, mom and grandma helped me come up with the pattern that ended up being quite easy and I'll share it with you today. As you can see, I put Velcro on and I sewed them on so that the Velcro stays in place. And essentially what I did was just make a piece that wrapped all the way around the material, put the Velcro on, and then I had sewn on the end cap. Now, if I had this to do over again, I would finish all of these edges so it looks a little nicer, but hindsight's always 20-20. It's very simple, these fold in, you fold it down like you're wrapping a package so that the ends are covered, and then Velcro it on. Now, mistakes are gonna happen, and I'm gonna show you mine, because somehow I mismeasured. The bottoms were the perfect width, the tops were just a little short, and so I made a nice cuff. I just ended up sewing on the extension that I needed, and it looks really nice, like maybe I even did it on purpose. Well, it's also down below, so you're never gonna see it. It is, but very simple. A couple of recommendations I have. You can see I replaced all of the batting, and you'll wanna do that because the batting that you have will be old. We used the same um, foam that was already here because it was excellent still in perfect condition foam uh, ended up being kind of fun I had a good time I spread it out over four or five days so that I didn't get too tired from doing it and you kind of go cross-eyed when you're sewing all this stuff together but I think it looks good I think the owners will be happy to have clean fresh unstained material and I know I feel better letting Nellie go to her new humans with this in place. Hope you have enjoyed this little tidbit. Maybe it inspires you if you've got some cushions you wanna replace. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can see Nellie's new humans tomorrow and you'll get to meet our new vehicle in the new future. We've already purchased it and we're headed down to pick her up pretty soon. Thanks for joining us, bye.